Hi everybody, it's Christy Blake coming to you on New Year's Day 2014. I'm so excited for this year. It's going to be awesome. Did everyone have a good New Year's Eve? Yes, I did. Um, anyways, I hope you did too since you can't answer me. So I just want you at home to be going like, woo woo, or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's very dark outside. It's very foggy. See? Can you see the fog? It's like I'm sitting here like no one even knows I'm in my car. Maybe I should do Naked January. Just kidding. <laughs> um, okay, so I am weak. I think I'm week 27. Now, I used to watch Lessa Sarah's videos because she used to make them on Tuesday. And then I would make mine. So I totally knew what week I was on because we had surgery the same week. But she hasn't been making videos. I love you, Sarah. I hope all is well. <clears throat> I'll be watching Chris later tonight. So, <clears throat> so. <clears throat> I'm sure you're doing good. Um. And I'll see you at support group this year, this year, this month. Because I'm going, because I've been a huge slacker. Slacker. Yep, two weeks. Okay, let me start with the numbers. Okay, week 27. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on July. Um, what's wrong with me? I can't even talk. June 19th, 2013, here in Portland, Oregon, with Dr. Emma Patterson. Um, I've lost a lot of weight. Yep. Um, I think two weeks ago I was 191, and yesterday I was 191. So that's how much I've been sucking. I haven't gone to the gym in two weeks because I got sick, and then it was Christmas, and I was like, screw it. And I've been eating, like, sugar cookies, and I make salted caramels. I basically screwed myself because I was like, how can I not make what I'm supposed to be making for Christmas? My designated duty as the professional salted caramel maker in my house. Not professional, but, you know, I'm the person that makes salt. Like, my husband's going to bake or anything. And I have to bring certain things to Christmas, so... Anyways, before I go on a long spiel about that, I basically lost this much weight in two weeks and I am kind of proud that I've actually maintained <laughs> and not gained although I'm sure with not working out I've totally lost muscle so I probably have gained some fat whatever but it's a new year new you new year back in the gym tomorrow I gotta you know I just can't believe how much how easy it was to just slip back into old ways and sit on the couch and not even like grab a hand weight which is five feet in front of me in my ottoman. Nope, didn't do it. Just sat in my butt. I've been cleaning my garage out, you know, organization and stuff, so that helps. Um, but I need to find the motivation down deep inside and get to the gym. I'm kind of looking bald right now. Well, maybe that's because I almost am. Just kidding. I need to find the root of my hair loss. It's six months. It's been six months, people. Like, that's when it's supposed to kind of stop, right? Not stopping. I think because my protein has not been watched and I, my protein's low. My calcium, I haven't really been taking it. So that's when... The biotin? Screw the biotin. Biotin does not work. Sorry, people. Whoever's trying biotin, maybe it's making your nails stronger and making your hair grow back, but it's certainly not preventing hair loss kind of up, up. Okay. All right. Today, well promised, well waited. You all waited patiently to hear about the paleolithic diet that I followed before weight loss surgery. It was kind of hard to follow. Obviously I still had surgery, but I did lose at one point, I think 15 pounds, um, 15, 18 pounds on it. So it does work. Um, and it really aligns with the weight loss surgery community and what we should be eating. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about it because it's basically going to give you um, some resources for cooking. Um, there's several cookbooks in Costco. There's like four paleolithic, paleo um, cookbooks. I'm sure you could look. There's probably a bazillion more on Amazon or in Barnes and Noble. 
So um, pick one up. The one I use is Everyday Paleo. I although I do really want another one, but the funds are kind of tight, so not yet. Um, but also, you don't totally need a cookbook. It's pretty simple. Um, so I'm just going to get the lowdown of what it is now. Again, I'm not a nutritionist or a doctor, but my nutritionist actually did recommend that this is something I follow. Um, I don't do strict paleo. I do primal, which includes dairy, and I will talk about some of the different things there. <coughs> Clearing my throat. Okay. So, paleo means basically eat as much as you can organic or grass-fed beef fish, chicken, pork, um, you want to kind of keep, you know, bacon is welcome in the paleo diet, but I would definitely keep it to a minimum, especially for us, um, but if that's something you wanted to put in your food for, you know, a little bit here and there, that's probably fine, um, fruit, again, also keep that to minimum because the sugar counts, um, eggs are well welcome, welcome welcome which I was not good with eggs for the first probably three months and I cannot still eat them in the morning first thing that I eat um, they're more of my lunchtime thing with a piece of Ezekiel toast I'll do like a over easy egg or something um, so eggs that also you know you could do quiches there's a lot of different things crustless quiches um, that you could do we all like those mini egg muffins those are good um, okay vegetables nuts but no peanuts and actually my endocrinologist said no peanuts I shouldn't be eating peanut butter or anything like that um, I used to go to Winco and get the ground peanuts but I'm trying not to do that anymore now I just get ground almonds because that is welcome um, vegetables roots and yeah Coconut oil, coconut flour, almond flour, those are all things that I've used. Um, I do use olive oil and butter. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the things that you're not supposed to have. Um, quinoa, or sorry, grains, but I will eat quinoa. I feel like it's a healthy grain that I, I like to keep some grains. If there's a dish that I go out to eat and there's brown rice, I'll eat that. I don't do good with rice, but quinoa seems to be okay. Um, beans you're not supposed to have. So I know there's a lot of protein in beans, so this would be a big debate, but actually beans, um, if it's not in your ancestry, like South America, and you're, you know, I'm like Welsh, yeah. My body does not process beans very well. That's why people um, have gas after, because it's actually like the beans are not processing or going into your system. They're kind of sitting there rotting is what I've been, what I've heard. Um, so if beans do not make you gassy, then that is something that you can probably process okay. Um, let's see. Dairy is totally questionable. A lot of people do not process dairy very well, so you're not going to eat dairy anyways. But um, that is one of the things that makes it, that's why I eat primal, because I like to include dairy. My body processes it okay. I, dr I eat a lot of Greek yogurt. I even had started drinking milk since I had surgery. Um, butter. Now, if you can get like organic butter, but butter is definitely questionable and you should keep it to a minimum, but I have butter. Um, and then sugar, no refined sugar. So that's just something we all know to cut out sugar. Um, and then vegetable oils. So those are things that you should not have. Grains, beans, dairies, peanuts, sugar, and oils. Vegetable, like processed oils. Um, some of the things that I've seen that are questionable are coffee, dairy, um, how come, oh, alcohol is questionable. We know we should all keep that to a minimum. Um... There's a couple others, but it's kind of a choice thing, and if you are going to include those things, I wouldn't have it be your whole diet, but just a part of it, a little bit part of it, but some people have to have their coffee every day. I don't drink coffee, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, so again, an Ancestry, you know, I went to actually a seminar, and she talked a lot about paleo is not black or white. I know it'll tell you most if you read up 
know this, know that, know this, like I just said. Um, but like I also said, if your body processes something better than another's, um, that like for instance, if you have Asian descent, you might be able to process rice just fine and it's actually probably healthy for you. Your body reacts really well to it and processes it well. If you have South American in you, Mex you know, um, Hispanic, whatever, sorry, I'm not being politically correct, but South America descent, um, you might be able to process corn or corn flour very well. Um, and that is something that is not straight up in the paleo diet, diet corn, but you know, I've, when I was doing it full force back before the surgery, I did include some, a little corn here and there. Um, okay. Uh, if you're from Europe, um, or UK, like that area, you might be able to process potatoes better. Sweet potatoes are also one of those questionable things. I always included sweet potatoes because I feel like they're healthy and my body processes them well. But you actually might be able to include um, white potatoes. Not a lot of them, but that is something that is also one of those if or if iffy things. Um, so if you're from Europe or Northern Europe, then potatoes would probably be processed well by your body. So that's kind of paleo in a nutshell. Um, the general guide for paleo is start 30 days, start hardcore, and then just try to make it 80%. You know, try to eat paleo 80%. When you're shopping, shop the outside of the grocery store. <laughs> there shouldn't be anything except if you're at Trader Joe's or somewhere else, maybe picking up coconut oil or something else, um, then that would be when you could go to those middle aisles, but really, other than that, there's probably not a lot at the grocery store um, in those aisles. So, that's kind of it for that. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you have a cookbook that you really love that you've been eating this way, let me know, because um, I do do the Food Fridays. And if anyone would like to guest on the Food Friday, how would I even do that? Mm, scratch that. Sounds complicated. Um... <laughs> I um, want to do a 30-day challenge, and um, Gastric Sleep Diaries, um, she, I talked about a little bit of this in my, my last video, um, she did a challenge in December, which I was definitely not up for, because I had surgery and it was Christmas, but um, I'm going to challenge myself that I'm either going to, that I'm going to... Um, the three areas that are hardest for me are tracking. I've really stopped that and I've noticed a difference and drinking my water and um, working out. So I'm challenging myself to do two out of three things every day and if I do that at the end of the month, I'm going to buy myself a new pair of skinny jeans or something. Oh my gosh, NSV, you guys, skinny jeans. I bought my first pair because I'm super hippie and I never like thought that looked good on me. They're so cute little tapered legs and I can wear my boots it made me very happy um, anyways I'm getting up to 15 minutes so I am going to say goodbye and farewell and be good and da da da, -da. that's all I have to say alright you guys make it a good month see you next week hopefully we'll do food Friday I'm working this Friday so I'll try to do something in advance. All right. Hope you guys start off the year right, and let's make it a great year. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.